I'm sharing with you my top eight fashion mistakes that I think everyone makes loungewear edition. Before quarantine, I didn't own any cute loungewear. All that I wore were ratty old t-shirts and graphic tees that were really childish looking. And I wanted to find a way to elevate my loungewear without having to spend too much money. So today I'll be sharing with you my top eight tips along with some fashion mistakes that I think we're all making. The best places to find affordable loungewear. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. I wanted to give back to you guys. So I'm giving away a hundred dollar gift card to Amazon to one lucky winner. So I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Go! The very first fashion mistake that everyone makes is getting makeup on your clothes. It's totally unavoidable to get makeup on your clothes, especially when you're getting ready in the morning. So taking your scarf, I'm just going to plop it over my face. And then taking my sweater, I'm just going to try my best to push the hole as big as possible and then bring it over my head. That way, the makeup is on my scarf and not on my turtleneck. I know you might be thinking, Allie, who wears makeup when they're lounging around at home? But trust me, when you're getting ready in the morning, you probably have on a really comfortable shirt or top and you don't wanna get your makeup all over it. So another hoodie hack is to find one with a very low U-neck like this because the opening is way wider than usual. And the same with removing your sweater, just plop on your scarf and then carefully take off your sweater. So try to stretch this out a little bit and bring the scarf underneath. Ta -da! <laughs> and look, there's actually no makeup on the scarf, which is a miracle. I have a love-hate relationship with cropped hoodies. Great for photos, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to eating, brushing your teeth, or honestly try to function as a human being, it doesn't make sense because the hoodie opens up all the way and then it drags over the table or over the sink when you're trying to brush your teeth or take off your makeup. And then your sleeves start dragging all over everything as well and it just gets stained really easily. So when I do wear cropped hoodies and try to do everything everyday activities, I have to tuck it in. Fashion mistake number three, not having a special set of loungewear. You know, that one top that we feel like, oh, I probably could get more uses out of it and I don't really want to donate it yet. So you end up wearing it to sleep, but it just doesn't make you happy. And I'm not telling you to spend a lot of money on a fancy lounge set. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I just want you to think about the outfit that you're wearing and if it makes you happy or not. Like why put on a ratty old t-shirt that's like all sweaty and stained? Why not have a special set of loungewear that you can put on immediately when you come home. My fourth most common fashion mistake is believing that I needed to spend a lot of money on designer clothing in order to make my loungewear look more expensive. And here are my top four affordable loungewear brands. I love Boohoo for more of that IG batty look. Jogger pants are so thick and they were under $15. I know, such a steal. And Fabletics has amazing leggings, but also they recently launched a eco-friendly line of loungewear that's made out of recycled water bottles. We all need a cozy cardigan because I find that I wear cardigans way more than robes. So this one is from Amazon and I believe it's under 40 bucks and it's so thick and cozy. My secret weapon for the best soft t-shirts. So this came in a two pack and I love that it's made out of a modal material that's very luxe and just feels so soft against the skin. Oh, slip dresses. Sometimes they can be see-through, so definitely be aware of that. You don't want to accidentally wear a slip dress outside and not realize that your bra and panties are showing. So how you can check for this if you're shopping online or even at home is to stand in front of a mirror in the sun and then see if the light shines through the fabric. And usually solid darker colors are not see-through compared to lighter colors. If you really want to elevate your loungewear, pick up high shine fabrics 
satins and silks look very luxurious and it makes an outfit look so high end. If your high-waisted joggers are just a little bit too long on you and you're petite like me, pull them up as high as you can and then fold over the band. These ones are a little bit strange. I don't know why this ties off to the side. As you can see, my pants are super baggy. They're just a bit too long until I realized they had a petite style. But if they're a bit long for you, pull up the band as high as you can, and then you can tuck in the fabric underneath. There's nothing I love more than an all white set. I think it's timeless, chic. Lighter color pants can easily be see-through or sheer, so beware of that. An easy way to check if your pants are see-through is by holding it up to the sun. If you can see the tag straight through of the pants, then you know you will definitely be able to see your underwear and we don't want that. Rock really good looking sweatpants, wear nude underwear. You wear underneath matters so much and what I'm talking about is underwear. Definitely go for a thong style because anything else like a bikini or a brief, you will definitely see the outline and that is a little secret that I wanted to share with you for all the ladies out there. Trust me, you'll thank me later. A really easy clothing hack is to pair a large duster cardigan or rope over it. That way you can't see your booty area and it's nicely covered by the cardigan. Hi, I'm Ali Chen. Today I'm applying for the new role of head of community. My last and final fashion mistake is being a victim of social media. And what I mean by that is sometimes we see tutorials online and we take them just a little bit too seriously. I made this TikTok right here and I showed you how to elevate a white loungewear set, work at home appropriate. And so many of the comments were roasting me that you would get fired and it's not professional, professional. <laughs> you ever do like a zoom interview or a video conference or even in person don't wear your blazer over your lounge clothes go with a classic blouse underneath and trousers and just play it more safe fashion mistake number one is getting makeup all over your loungewear mistake number two is believing that loungewear has to be baggy Loungewear can be comfortable, but also stylish at the same time. Lighter clothing tends to be more see-through and sheer. Wear seamless underwear if you want a seamless overall look. Set aside a loungewear set that's special to you and makes you feel more elevated and womanly. Try high shine materials like satins and silks because it'll definitely elevate your loungewear experience. Cropped hoodies are not the most functional item, but there's definitely a time and place for them, especially for photography. Last but not least, go with a monochromatic neutral look. It tends to look more elevated and luxurious. Be sure to consider subscribing to my channel to join my YouTube family. If you want to join today's giveaway, be sure to follow me on Instagram and all of the rules will be down below. I love you guys and I hope you're staying safe. If you want to check out my previous fashion hack video, click right here.